覚悟してろよ行くぜ Welcome to Warbreaker Coup's Reviews. I'm your host, Warbreaker Coup, and today we're looking at Across the Multiverse, Miles Morales. Now, I probably won't get any more figures from this collection. I thought about the Gwen, however, I like the old Gwen better, um, more so the face, so that, and I hate the mass version of it, so I'll probably just stick with this one um, and just go from there. But this one is unique. It is quite a bit taller than his previous, so it looks like Miles has grown a bit. Um, I did like the head scope. Some people didn't like the old head scope for this one. I did. Um, let's see the new head scope for him when you take his mask off. And it looks like, uh oh, there we go. Looks like this. So let's compare the two. So you can see he's aged a bit. Kind of the similar hair, but he's aged a bit. His face looks like it's a little more slender too, not and not less chubby. Um, let's compare him to one more, Miles, because I really did like Miles Morales. He's one of my favorite characters of all of Marvel. I've been reading him since the beginning, and uh, I bought the Sentinel. So let's get a taste for a little bit more of a premium figure. There's the premium head scope. So yeah. Um. So all in all. I would say, oops, this new Miles looks pretty darn good. Now, the interesting thing is his articulation. He's very skinny. Like, this might be the skinniest Marvel Legend I own in my collection. Um, double jointed elbow, so you can get a ridiculous amount of articulation that way. Um, not butterfly joints, but he still can get back quite a bit. Um, you can get a T-pose easily. Um, now, here's where it gets awkward when you start bending him. Look at that. His spine is broken. There's no way that's happening. So they went too exaggerated there, too. Just a bit much. Um, but if you can get do in certain poses, you can't really see it. So he can really get down into some good poses. You can just kind of fudge it so that way it doesn't look so bad when you're swinging through the air. Okay? But, uh, yeah, I, I do like this figure i like the texture on his suit this time because it's a really nice texture um the only thing is he is a bit difficult to stand at times i'm sure some people have complained about that because his legs are just so thin and his feet are not very they're not very uh big so he does have some trouble standing at times but besides that you can get some really great poses i mean look at that knee right there right i mean Articulation on this guy is just phenomenal. So I really do recommend this figure if you like Miles Morales at all. Um, again, you don't have to get all the figures, but if you want the main character, maybe even Gwen, because Gwen looks fine. It's just the head I'm not a big fan of. So, yeah. Um, all in all, with the blues and new design, I do dig this costume a lot. If I had to rate it out of 10, especially with the articulation and... Everything like that. Oh, wait, I can't rate it yet because that's not the only accessory. He does come with two of these. Okay, two of these web shooting hands. But he does not have wall crawling hands. So I will have to take off from not having wall crawling hands or no web accessories. That's the only thing that he's really slacking or missing on. Otherwise, he would have been a, a just about perfect figure. So... I'll give him out of 10. Let's give this Miles. We'll give him a solid uh, 8.5. 8.5. He's a good figure. So, thank you. Enjoy him. Uh, thanks for watching. Until next time, peace and across the spidey grease.